Okay, g'day hackers, welcome to the next tutorial. This time we are looking at combo boxes in PyQt5 and coding in PyCharm. So specifically what we're looking to do here, I'm not going to run you through how to build this one. We are just looking at having a combo box, uh, which we have named demo underscore combo box, and then a label which we've named output label up here at the top. Uh, so I've obviously saved that file and I am sitting here ready to go in PyCharm as well. Okay, so you can see here that we have our um, file already sitting there in our project folder. We've already exported using our PyUIC5 command. If you don't know how to do that, uh, jump back into one of the other tutorials and I'll demonstrate that in one of there quickly. Uh, and then I've also put in my boilerplate code to um, obviously speed up the process here as well. So what we wanna do first and foremost in our constructor uh, function is to start to sit down and actually build our combo box. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of different methods, but basically what we're going to do is go self.ui and then the name of the combo box, and then we want to go add item. Okay, and then from there, we can type in whatever the item is that we want. All right, so that's the easiest way to be able to put things into our um, combo box sitting there ready to go. Now one other way that you can do it, if you want to try and do this all in one go, is you can say add items instead. Okay, and then we can use a Python list using our square braces. Okay, and then we can go through and put the rest of our um, items in there as well. All right, so basically you've got two ways to put those in. You can either add it via the single add each time, or you can go through and use a list to add all of your items at once. All right, now from there, the quickest and easiest way for us to be able to um, see what's happening with the combo box is obviously to connect our signal. So we're gonna say self.ui demo underscore combo box, and then we're gonna have current index changed. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna connect a function. In this case, we're just gonna call it update label. Bad typing today. Obviously, this doesn't exist at the moment because we haven't created it. So I'm just gonna come into here and say define update label. Okay, and then I just need to tell it what I want it to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do in this instance, is I'm just gonna create a quick variable so that I can get the value out. So I can say self.ui.demo combo box, whoops, demo underscore combo box dot current text. Okay, this is gonna grab the current text from the combo box. And then from there I can say self.ui.output label set text output. All right, now obviously I could drop this, uh, drop the whole variable thing, but what I wanted to make sure that you're aware you could do is you can obviously grab the information out and store it as a variable, which could then allow you to use that to determine different functions that are going to be run based on the selection from your um, combo box itself. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly right click on this one and hit run so I can show you this one working. All right, so our little window opens up. You can see we've got our combo box there when we select something. It'll change the label up the top to reflect the text that is written there. All right, so combo boxes are great little GUI elements that allow you to put you know, options for your user to select there, uh, which could be used as part of a form or as part of a selection to run different applications. Uh, so your options are endless when it comes to a combo box, uh, but hopefully that shows you very, very quickly how to add your combo box items to your um, combo box and then also how to get some of that information out and then get it to do something in a program. All right, well, that's it for today. Uh, hopefully that one's helped you out and I'll see you over in the next tutorial.